This is how to use the Scene Edit Detection feature in Premiere Pro. So Scene Edit Detection will automatically detect scene changes in flattened footage. So flattened footage, for example, is this right here. So I went through this entire game and clipped all of the best clips of this player, number 14, and then exported them all into one clip right here so I didn't have to keep all the raw footage. So now if I right click and then go up to Scene Edit Detection, I'll have these options right here. So it'll apply a cut at each detected cut point. So it'll actually make new cuts and slice this back into the old clips that I had it from before. You can also click this one to create a bin of sub clips from each detected cut point. So it'll make a folder over here with each of those clips in it. And then you can also create clip marker at each detected point. I usually do these two together and I'll show you this one separately with this Mean Girls footage after. Okay, so you click Analyze. It's gonna analyze the clips. This might take a second. But when it's done, you'll see that Premiere will have made cuts at each of the points where there's a transition to a new clip. So you can see here it's playing and right at this spot, boom, it's gonna be a cut to the next clip and so on. If we watch here, this clip will end, boom, and it cuts to the next one. So now I can use these if I'm gonna put a song in and I wanna rearrange them and mix them with other clips. Now I can treat them as individual clips instead of one long video. Over here, you can notice as well, there's that folder that was created, the bin, and each of these clips, if I double click, is gonna be connected to each of these. So if I go, see that's that one. The second one here will be this next clip right here. So each of them is connected within the bin over here as well. Now, if we go over to the Mean Girls sequence, let me show you another use case. So if we right click and go up to Scene Edit Detection, and then now I'm gonna unclick these ones and click Create Clip Marker at each cut point and then Analyze. You'll see that instead of making cuts, Premiere is just gonna put markers at each spot where the scene changes to a new clip. So let's just look at this one right here. So it plays and then boom, there's a cut right there. But instead of cutting it, it puts a marker. I really only use this when I get my students to make scene recreations in class. So they will film the same footage as in the scene and they'll put it over top of this clip right here. And then by having the markers, they can see where the original cuts in the movie were made to try and match theirs up accordingly.